Hi everyone, it's Angel of Pure Earth Angel. I haven't made a video in a while, so uh, here, I'm back. <laughs> um, I have been thinking about if I wanted to share this or or not, and I saw, I saw dust and I was like, eh. <laughs> um, okay, it's like a weird subject that not many people talk about, but it's finances. And me and James made the decision recently that we were going to really focus on our finances and take the steps to become financially free. Um, fortunately, we haven't been like struggling or really had to worry about finances. However, um, you know, towards the end of the month, we cut things a little bit close because we just free spend. So we are really focusing in on getting debt free next year. And I'm so excited to share that. Um, we're gonna be following Dave Ramsey's Steps to Financial Freedom. Um, and so I've decided, you know what, I might as well, one, make a video and be held accountable by all of you. And also maybe I can inspire some of you to take a hold of your freedom as well. So I'm gonna be sharing what the steps are and what our goals are for the next year and years to come. Okay, so the baby step number one is to save a thousand dollar emergency fund as quickly as possible. So that means doing whatever it takes to save a thousand dollars as quick as possible. And I know a lot of people are like, uh, we're barely making ends meet. How are we going to save a thousand dollars? There's actually a lot of ways you can do that fairly easily. Um, look around your house. What do you not need? Sell it. <laughs> like looking around the room I'm in right now I have three lamps in here we don't need because we can put a ceiling fan up that we have in a box in the closet and it has a lamp and we could sell the rest of these um, you can say you have a Saturday night free say okay parents I'm gonna charge 10 15 20 dollars per kid and I'm gonna host a movie night in my living room while you guys can go out and have a date night you know, there's different ways that you can earn the money very quickly. So that's baby step number one. Baby step number two, I'm sorry, I'm looking so I can read everything. <laughs> baby step number two is to pay off all your debt using the debt snowball. So that means calculate all of your debts and list them in order from least to greatest and you are gonna pay them off least to greatest. So when I calculated everything that we had um, you know we have a couple credit cards um, and then I had some medical bills when we calculated all of that we're looking at like fifteen thousand dollars in debt that's a lot so how we're doing things just like that we're taking the minimum payments we're lining them up and saying okay I'm just gonna use an example twenty five dollars for the first one the next one's like fifty dollars or, or or so forth and so on so we're paying the minimum payment for each one but everything else at the end of the month that we have left over instead of free spending we're going to put it towards the smallest debt so when that one's paid off let's say we have an extra hundred dollars a month so we're putting a hundred plus the 25 for the first one once that one's paid off and marked out the next one that was like fifty dollars we're putting that hundred that we have extra the 25 that we had from the first one and the 50 that we were already paying to that one. So we're paying $175 each month towards that one then taking that money and adding it to the next. So you're snowballing these out of the way. So that is our goal. Um, baby step number three is to build up three to six months emergency fund. So that you are calculating what you pay for rent, what all your utilities are. Um, you shouldn't have any more um, debt, so that's out, but rent, utilities, what you spend on food, what you spend on fuel for your car, and I added a miscellaneous amount, like I throw in like $150 added into that, because you never know, I have kids, their shoes could all break at the same time. You never, you don't know what's going to happen, so having a little extra in there, just in case. So this emergency fund is in case something crazy happens and you both lose your job at the same time. Well, then you know your your 
going to be set up for six months where you do not have to worry about money. That's giving you six months to either find another job or figure out what you can do, but you're not in this huge panic in that moment. So that is such a huge thing. Um, it says three to six months, but our plan is to do six months. Um, when I calculated up all of our um, expenses, you know, the rent, the utilities, everything like that, um, we're looking at about over, slightly over $3,000. So altogether for our six months, we're saving over $18,000. That's going to be put into a savings account in case of emergencies. Our next step is that's when you can buy a house. And the trick with this is not to get the 30 year mortgage, but to get a 15 year mortgage um, and pay that off as quickly as possible. So don't just take the 15 years, put all of your extra money into that and just pay it off. We're gonna get the 15 year mortgage, but we're looking to pay that off in under 10 years if possible, paying it off as quickly as possible. Cause after that, you don't have to worry about your mortgage. How amazing would that be? So baby step four, five, and six are all kind of one together. Cause baby step four is you're gonna invest 15% of your income into your retirement. Baby step five is putting a certain percent into your child's um, college fund. So we have four kids, so we're gonna be dividing that up because when they turn adults, we don't want them to go directly into debt with having to get a loan for college. So this is huge, making sure that our kids are financially set too. So that's baby step four, baby step five, and baby step six is taking the rest of your income and putting it towards your mortgage so you get that paid off as quickly as possible. And baby step seven is the best one. It is just build your wealth and give. So you're gonna have all this extra money not going to, you know, not thousands of dollars going to your house because it's already paid off. You're just going to enjoy living your life. So we are so looking forward to following these steps and really cutting out all of our extra expenses. And we're going to make videos along the way, um, how we're budgeting, you know, what we're doing to save money and saving, sharing all of our tricks, um, our goals. So next year, we should have baby step one, two, and three done. We'll have our emergency fund, we'll have all our debt paid off, and we'll have our six months emergency fund paid off by the end of next year. Um, by 2018, we'll have our full um, house deposit and start paying off our house. So I am excited to share this. Um, my next video, I'll probably share what our budget binder looks like and how we're going to use cash envelopes. Um, so if you're interested in learning more, contact me or look into Dave Ramsey and let's share together. Let's do this together, you guys. All right. All right. Bye.